Welcome to my latest video. In this short video I'm going to show you how to adjust the handbrake on a Land Rover Freelander 2. This is a 2009 XS TD4 2.2 litre. It is the older type with the mechanical handbrake lever, not the electric parking brake uh, as fitted to the, some of the later ones. Um, the electric ones have a motor and sort of piston built into the caliper actually kind of operate through the main foot brake. The, these, these older ones here actually have this sort of combination disc and drum here so inside this this is actually a brake drum with shoes inside so this this pad here um, this is the foot brake okay so that's hydraulic foot brake and then there is a the lever the cable which uh, goes to each of the rear wheels which uh, opens out shoes inside inside this which is the drum so I'm going to show you how to adjust at each wheel it's better to adjust at, at the wheel rather than using the adjuster inside I'm going to show you there is inside the rear uh, inside the, the car behind to the rear of this uh, cubby box here underneath here is an adjuster but that actually does both wheels at the same time which is not ideal really because you can't be sure that you've got the balance right uh, it's much better to adjust at the wheel end of the handbrake cable um, so what I'm going to do is show you here so if we just get a screwdriver pop this little plastic cover off that comes off and then in this hole what you're looking to do is to draw a line between the centre of the hub nut here and this lower pad holding arm here. You draw a line there and then look through the hole. I think the torch try and shine and see if you can see. There is. I don't know if this is going to work. I might have to rotate this a bit. Yeah, you can just see there, there's a little toothed wheel with a sort of cog with teeth on it. And what you want to do is get a screwdriver and actually move that from side to side. So you actually get a screwdriver in and you flick those teeth. Okay, so what you want to do is actually Use a flat blade screwdriver and flick those teeth. So try and rotate that little toothed um, wheel. Now, what you're trying to do is to adjust it so that so that it's just just starting to bind, but uh, uh, obviously not uh, locking the brakes on. So I'm going to adjust that. Now on the the other side, on the, the near side, UK passenger side, you have to move the wheel, the teeth on the wheel, to the back, to the back of the car, to tighten the brakes. On the driver's side, you have to go the other way. Okay, so flicking, flicking it that way. Okay, so... What I've done, adjusted this, so on the driver's side you have to push the wheel that way, the other way to the rear. So what I've done is just flick that one more turn. That, that is now solid, okay, that's too much. That's now binding, so I'm just going to back it off. One. There we go, that's just... just just, just starting to rub it. You can hear it rubbing. Now, I just don't want any too much rubbing to build up a load of heat. Um, but uh, what you're what you're trying to do is to get to the point where where the handbrake. One, two. Three. So, you, so you, you're looking for sort of three to four clicks on the handbrake, not not sort of eight or nine. Okay, so for that, I'm happy with that. I'm going to pop the uh, plastic cap on, wherever it's gone. Use the plastic cap. Oh, there it is. Right, pop that back on. 
now that you know that each wheel is adjusted correctly, you can then, if necessary, adjust the, uh, the one inside the car. But uh, yeah, I still think it's better to, to do each wheel one by one. You can then be sure that each wheel is working the same amount and nicely balanced. Okay, hope that was useful. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.